Hi guys, this is Matthias, and as I'm sure you all know by now, DICE have released the new game in the Battlefield franchise. It's going to be called Battlefield 5, and the settings is going to be World War 2. Personally, I am just incredibly hyped for this. Now, knowing myself, I think this is because I really want the game to be really, really good, and I hope the game will be really, really good. Do I believe that the game is going to be really, really good? Well, let's just wait and see. Now, watching this live stream together with my own viewers on Twitch, I think it's fair to say that the thing that people were most interested in and the thing that people based most of their uh, opinions about was the trailer. That and the fact that Trevor Noah, the host, was very, very misplaced during this whole stream. And when it comes to the trailer, I felt like it was a little bit under my expectations, but I still liked it. However, it's very safe to say that this trailer was not very popular, not in any way close to what a Battlefield trailer normally is. I got a number of strong negative reactions from my viewers right away, and looking at the trailer on Battlefield's own YouTube channel, oh I noticed God. that there are about twice as many, or a little more than twice as many, thumbs up than thumbs down. And that is really, really negative for being a Battlefield trailer. Normally, the ratio is a lot more positive. Now me, personally, I'm only looking for a good game. And there's nothing that says that just because a trailer is good or bad, that the game is going to be as good as the trailer seems to be. Now, one of the things that I reacted on was some of the things they talked about when it comes to new animations. Personally, anything about animations basically just scares me, especially when it comes to DICE and Battlefield. And that is because I have almost exclusively bad experiences with animations. I would prefer it if they decided we are not going to have any animations whatsoever that affects your movement of your character. What I mean is animations such as the bayonet charge and the animation when you jump over a wall. Because for whatever reason, they either don't work properly, they just bug out all the time, or they just don't add anything good to the game even if they do work. Again, this is just personal preference based on the previous Battlefield games. And I do understand, of course, that there are animations that are justified and more or less necessary, even though I would have hoped that they could minimize them and also minimize the importance of them. Now, the era, World War II, opens up quite a lot of possibilities that we didn't have in Battlefield 1. Human technology had already evolved a lot, but it took a massive big leap during this time. A lot of things that we take for granted today was developed during this era, and a part of what I have found to be very very frustrating and actually quite boring about Battlefield 1 is for sure going to be a lot different in Battlefield 5. There is no reason whatsoever to justify snipers or the scout class to be as powerful as in Battlefield 1. But even so, I think an even bigger change and a bigger difference is going to be to the vehicle gameplay. Now, the tanks and the planes that were used during World War II were far superior to the ones in World War I, for obvious reasons. And this is going to change up the gameplay tremendously. Now, there is of course going to be better counters also, and I really hope that DICE are going to find a good balance between infantry and vehicles, something that uh, normally they at least take very seriously, even though it doesn't always turn out as good as they're hoping. A big unfortunate thing about balance is that balance, people's opinions about balance, normally is based more on feelings than experience, logic and reason. A lot of people just hate on things they can't do themselves, and instead of learning, they flame on it on Reddit. We've seen this in every Battlefield game and plenty of other titles as well. So now one of the things that happened with Battlefield 1 was that people got a massive interest for history. Of course, the era of Battlefield 1, which was about a hundred years ago. I saw countless of discussions, pictures and facts being spread on Reddit, something that is rather unusual for a gaming community. People seemed very, very interested in history in general on a level that I did not expect. The reason why I'm bringing this up, and I'm actually making quite a big deal of it, is that in general, gamers get a lot of shit for being gamers, meaning outside of the gaming community, of course. 
The truth of the matter is that, especially Battlefield 1, has proven to be very educational, even though the game itself, and this is something that DICE have pointed out clearly several times, the game itself is not supposed to be historically correct. I've already seen how a lot of people are talking about some of the vehicles and weapons that are associated with this era, and because of a new game, people are going to be sharing their information and their knowledge in a way and a lot more than they normally would. Flamethrip is running after me. Now, we're going to keep talking a lot about Battlefield 5 during my streams on Twitch.tv. If you haven't already, then by all means, swing by, say hi, you know, share some of your information, ask some questions, talk to some of the other viewers, and hopefully you'll have a great time there. Normally nowadays, I start somewhere between 3 or 4 p.m. Central European time, and I keep streaming for a few hours. This video is going to continue with some mixed moments playing infantry. It's all Battlefield 1. I really hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do they die all the time? Stay alive. Oh, says I. Okay, they had a lot of stuff there. He's disabled. Which one? Yeah. The right, uh, the left one. Not the one. Oh fuck! Hitting. I'm on the other one. Take it. Спасибо. Shoot him! We have lost objective. No. Oh, there had to be too many fucking people just have to be there. That uh, sniper Enfield thingy. No. 
Oh, <laughs> he flew like crazy. Oh, nice revive. Holy shit, nice revive, man. Ah, shit, I went down. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh. Sick revive. What? Tripwire that was there, and our guy was there, but he didn't trigger it. Yeah, it's weird all that shit, right? I think uh, they've done some things on the game that it's making it uh, buggy. Can you have can you have a perk where you don't trigger tripwires? Nice, there, there, he's right here below. Got him. Nice. Oh, wait, I'll take his kit, I'll take his kit. He might have uh, gadgets. Yeah, he has. from the alley. Yeah. We have lost objective button. Have two nades. Alley, Maddie. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. No, I want. Ah, I wanted that kit and kill the tank. Shit. Is he Antony Tata? Yeah, I want it so for this. I right, push forward, let's push forward, and you just need some healing. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, more medic, please.
<laughs> I should stop that. <laughs> Ah, I should stop that stuff. It takes too much time to switch. Oh, where am I? Where is this place? What is this place? The fuck am I? Never been here. We have lost objective duff. My new camper balcony. Oh. 